Hello guys. You might be in super dilemma on which book you should buy once you get admission to a medical college. It was really a confusing situation for me too and it took me a long time to figure out. But don't worry guys. We have made this entire video on discussion on book selection. For book selection, there will be three parameters you should consider before buying books. The first one is explanation. You got to understand for long term memory and not everything should be mugged up. If you actually understand things, they will retain in your memory for long term than the rot learned one. Remember guys, medicine is not like your school or high school level studies in which you memorize each and every steps of physics derivation, spilled it out on your answer sheets and scored 5 out of 5. But medicine is the study that requires continuous hard work. your actual knowledge has to be strong let's say in order to diagnose a disease because that's what you'll be doing in your future right the next parameters are information and knowledge information and knowledge might sound similar but they are entirely different things and information does not require explanation but the knowledge requires thorough explanation this is what makes it different from the first one for you guys this might sound unimportant now but information loaded books are a must for passing exams because they are the things that you will be asked in your assessments and vivas the third parameter is conciseness conciseness is important because the longer the text the less it will be included in your attention span you'll be staring at your textbook but your presence of mind will be somewhere else Ideally no book has all the characteristics but in this video we'll explain each book one by one and at the end we'll tell you how you can get them for free digitally also we have included the final list of the book at the last so stay with us and without further ado let's begin so let's start with anatomy books since anatomy is a vast and very interesting subject In our earlier video we are given you an idea that anatomy has various other subdivisions If you haven't watched the video on general anatomy, go through the video as it will be easier for you. BD Chaurasia. This guy is amazing. He has this book called Zero Volume which we had discussed about in our previous video. The BD Chaurasia or BDC proper anatomy books are of 3 volumes and has almost every information. However, the explanation I found was a bit more focused on information rather than the explanation part. And due to this, the texts are a bit concise. So, during my basic science phase, I had found this textbook more as a note, and that really helped me in my exam time. Most of your professors will ask you to read from this book themselves, and they'll be referring this book for their presentation preparations. A bit mixed with Gray's Anatomy, so you'll be needing this book. So while using BD Zaurasia or BDC textbook you can find that some of the explanation parts are lacking and you can cover this problem from other books like Gray's Anatomy for student it has the best illustrative diagrams and simple languages used in the explanation i repeat i'm talking to you about the student edition and not the teacher's version because you're going to freak out when you look at the thickness of the teacher's edition book so you can keep a pdf of gray's anatomy for occasion look it will make you wise but it lacks much information that you'll be needing in exams while actually writing the answers The other book is Vishram Singh. This book is easier for revision. The images make it even easier and you'll feel that it is most exam oriented. One last book that I missed is Moore's Anatomy. This book is also nice. It has more explanation and more clinical stuff packed. So, if you orient yourself towards clinical anatomy from your basic science phase, it will be easier for you to um, deal with clinical cases in coming future. See Anatomy is all about images. So if you learn to draw a diagram or make sketches while studying anatomy, it will really be easier for you guys. So this is a tip to study. And let's talk about Atlas or Nature's Atlas, which basically is a photopedia, just like the Wikipedia or encyclopedia, let's say, you know. It includes all the diagram hand painted by this guy named Nature's. Nitters has beautifully painted all the structures of human body and it will help you in a better visual memory. 
so i suggest you guys getting one of these but this is not a mandatory book uh, i had already told you that images make anatomy more interesting fun and more memorable so you can get help with that book for anatomy embryology books are also the must and langmans medical embryology or langmans contains well explained text along with the summary of each chapter the other book i would like to suggest you guys for embryology is ib singh or inderbir singh not as a primary book but it is a bit simplified it contains schematic diagram that will help you to learn more easier you can have a look on the ib singh book but primarily langman should be bought uh, because in some medical colleges the images in langman can also be placed as spotter questions on your anatomy practical exams like identify the diagram and which embryological phase is this so this book is quite important talking about the histology books Weider's Histology is the standard textbook which your professor will recommend. It has high quality, nice quality pictures, loaded with standard information, but it lacks conciseness. Um, yet, I would suggest you to get this book and keep another book for reference. Like you can have Defoe's Histology, in which the texts are given as points and not so concise. I would suggest you to get In the Bir Singh Histology. This book is definitely a wonder for the exam. The next is for practical anatomy primarily for the dissection purpose you can consult a book named Cunningham's Manual of Practical Anatomy it has basically three volumes based on regional anatomy like upper and lower limbs thorax and abdomen head neck and brain so it includes instructions that will guide you to dissect a human body you can get one of these but the best way i would suggest is getting one of the book and dividing among your roommates now talking about the physiology textbooks um, there's this book called guyton and hall textbook of medical physiology you'll be getting things in easiest way but you may be lost in the halfway of study because the paragraphs keep on repeating and somewhere in the text you might find that the mechanisms are not clear or mechanisms are unknown and it is so bulky that will make you bored but it has well description content and overall everything is good pictures are informative the other substitute of this book is ganong's review of medical physiology Ganong's is also a nice book and it has included clinical stuffs in boxes but Guyton can never be replaced for a medical student. The other books that are helpful in the exam are Sembulingam and Mahapatra book. Personally, my seniors had said that Guyton would be a more complicated book and suggested me to get a Sembulingam. And talking about my experience I found that Sembolingam was nice as a note and that would help me in my exam time but in my second year I solely referred Guyton and Ganong which was not so difficult to read and it felt standard to read the text from those books so the choice is yours For physiology practicals I suggest you to get a GK Pal textbook it has well explained text with images and in physiology practicals you'll have to actually perform the examinations on your friends as a subject since you definitely want to get to touch even a patient till your clinical years begin for your pathology textbook i'd suggest you people to get a robin's pathologic basis of disease which has two volumes or robin's basic pathology which is a single volume book but both of them are of the same writer so don't worry about it the only difference is that on the two volumed book the text are a bit more explained so if you want to learn pathology in depth which is an important subject in medicine you better go with the pathologic basis of disease this book is a must and no book can replace robin's pathologic basis book you can carry other textbook for reference too but you'll have to buy one of these It has better explanations and well illustrated diagrams pathologic histological diagrams let's say which makes the learning easier the only demerit is the bulk of information this book carries you'll understand it but in no time you'll also forget it so that's why i'd suggest you to make a note whenever you read this book apart from the main textbook of pathology that i had earlier suggested that is robins you can also study books like fundamentals of pathology by pathoma harsh mohan and ramdas naik 
these books can be used for review of pathology in short time where you can get most of the content of robin's pathology but these books basically are the indian versions of robin's where you can find text in a bit simplified way community medicine is probably the most boring subject you'll come across in your medical life and you can refer to k park for community medicine k park is a bulkier book and contains everything but we don't need everything the information included are from india so you'll definitely need an alternative for this book which is fast track i'll explain about fast track in the later part of the video biostatistics is the maths of medicine it contains the mathematical stuffs which are important in the epidemiology and explanation of the research data I'd suggest you people to get this book named Mahajan's Method in Biostatistics. It is a good book uh, having good content apart from other books. Pharmacology is the study of drugs and it was one of my favorite subjects after pathology despite the fact that the subject pharmacology is itself an extensive one. So I'd suggest you people to get a KD Tripathi book. This book has both explanations and information and overall suffice you in your medical assessments. However, I would suggest you to read general pharmacology from other books too. Shanbag and Shenoy is the book that will help you in your end hours like a day before exam and during vivas. It has short explained important stuffs which no other book has explained. The details are lacking but what's included are definitely the best one. Get a PDF of that book. You can visit our Telegram channel Free Medical PDFs whose link is in the description box below. The other book is from Sharma and Sharma. It also has good explanations but not that amount of information which will suffice like that of KD Tripathi. Personally, I had referred to KD Tripathi, Lipin Kot's Medical Pharmacology and Kat Jung's Medical Pharmacology. For microbiology, Ananta Narayan and Panikers is a good book. It has covered all the topics which are well described. The next book is Apurva Shastri. This book is important during exams since it contains the point-wise description which are easier to memorize. This will help you during your examination time. The next book is P Chakraborty. This book is quite bulky and contains everything about microbiology. I personally would not suggest you getting this since it is very vast and contains professor level stuffs but you can keep it for reference. I had used this book too. For biochemistry you have numerous books amongst of which Satyanarayan is one. Uh, Satyanarayan is a great book and has included everything in simplest words as a fresher would understand. It includes a well explained content and the book was more like a note to me as it was very simple. Lippincott. The description in this book is quite concise but nice and you can keep it as a reference. DM Vasudevan is a book that is comparable to Satyanarayan and the other good thing about this book is that it contains the MCQs part 2. So you'll enjoy this book. Fast Track is a book we all have to go through once a time either earlier or later. So don't hesitate to buy it. but you must have to study the main textbook earlier then only you will come to know the importance of it for the revision in short time so go through it for the pattern of questions past questions way of answering in exams read the details in main book for, before following it fast track is good for exam preparation but definitely not good for the good student it has stuffs for rot learner one who learns just by mucking up and not by understanding So keep in mind that you'll have to use this book just for last hour revisions and don't use it as a textbook since you'll be missing out many important things that you could grasp from a textbook and it certainly will affect you in your futures while you prepare for further entrance exams like NBDE and USMLEs. This is the final list of books that you will need at the end. Get a screenshot. For anatomy you have Bedi's Orasia, Langmans, Netter, Weeders, Cunningham's, Pharmacology you have Kerry Tripathi, Microbiology Apurva, Biochemistry DM Vasudevan, Physiology Guyton, Pathology Robbins and for Community Medicine you have K Park and Mahajan's Biostatistics. Thank you for watching our video. We are very eager to help you. Give our video a thumbs up if you liked it. Do subscribe and let's grow together. Made it Made it for you.